Hi, hi. I was going to do like a pure epic starting. So. Welcome to today's podcast. Such a um, complete opposite of what I did. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Contrast. Contrast, yeah. Complete contrast. So, hello. Hello. Um, we are Skit Twins. I'm Chloe. I'm Judith. I just realised we've never done that at the start of a podcast. We, should... we have. Well, no, I mean, like, we haven't done it on, at the start of, like, a few podcasts. So sorry if over the last couple of podcasts you've, like, been like, wait, who's Would speaking? <laughs> we should maybe do that at the start. Yeah. Um, but yeah, welcome, welcome. Um, it's been standard two weeks since our last podcast yep as we do a lot's happened has it not really but <laughs> a lot's gonna happen in this podcast and as usual it's gonna be weird yep so um we were in london well actually i suppose we should go back to the week before what did we do nothing really interesting happened that week did it no i don't think so that's cool last weekend we went to london on saturday morning until tuesday evening not that anyone really cares about time but we were in London um so that was the last sort of acting one um and then next time we'll be preparing for the showcase yep so full-on rehearsals like what? 10 to 6 because we don't do 9 to 5 yeah because if we did then everyone would burst into song working now yeah um I don't know if I'm looking forward to it or not I know I always say that about London but honestly this time not really because we have to travel from like Surrey <laughs> Hopefully we'll get a hotel sorted. Yeah. Um, I'm a lot happier with my monologue now than I was before. Same. I can now do mine. I enjoy it. <laughs> yours is very, very good. Yours is good. I like yours. You just need to... There was one bit that you muttered and it was sort of like... You always say this to me and it really hurts my feelings. I'm trying to help you make the best it monologue in the world. Feelings, and you make me very sad. You said that I was too quiet in part of mine. But you were being emotional so if you had a mic it's fine. I don't think we get mics. I think we get mics. But yeah, I, I love the gang over in London, but just, it's real tiring. Um, I don't think people over there realise how much travelling we do. In fairness, this time we were travelling out from Leatherhead rather than from Belfast no, but on just, the Monday. Just generally though. Like, yeah. It does take a lot out of you. Like what it takes, how long to get? We counted it up. Six hours. Was it six? I'm pretty sure it's more than that. Pretty sure it's six hours. To get from here to London. I'm I'm nearly sure. Seven. It's okay. Seven. Because if we normally leave, leave at seven and then we get there by ah oh, yeah two, two yes yeah. yes seven. Uh, we went to the Natural History Museum again. We've been there before, but we only saw part of it and we didn't realize how huge it was. And this time we went in through a different door, and <laughs> there was so much more. <laughs> But all I was focused on was, where's the geography bit? Where's the bit we've seen before? I was kind of not really interested in... Well, no, we saw a room of rocks. The rocks were cool. A room of rocks? Yeah. That sounds... Imagine trying to describe the Natural History Museum and that's what you did. There's some bones and there's a room of rocks. There's a skeleton hanging from the ceiling and a bit that shows the destructiveness of Earth. It's just full of dead things. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. I really enjoyed it. I like the Natural History Museum. I like geography, I think is the main bit that I took away from it because I really loved that whole geography bit. Yeah, same. I got really hyped. You did get really hyped. She was, she I was grabbed, hyped to the max. Yeah, I grabbed your hands and I dragged you along. I was like, let's go. Knowledge awaits. <laughs> is that what I said? I think so. <laughs> um, so yeah, last night, if you follow me on Snapchat, things got a little weird. Which, I mean, I just realised that it generally happens whenever mum and dad are out of the house and it's just, like, me and you. And I just sort of... I just get giddy. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, I started using the Snapchat filter that, like, changes your voice. And I made a friend called Matchy who I accidentally blew out. It and was then, a match. Just... And then I, I rekindled Matchy. And then... I found a new friend called Jerry, the giraffe. And My giraffe. Then Judith took her giraffe back and then I sang a song. We were looking at giraffe memes. And then Gira Jerry came back and that was pretty much the end of the story. But he pitied you. I was a bit mad. Yeah. It was funny though. I found it very entertaining. Thanks. You're welcome. Did you see them? I did, yeah. You should put them on our YouTube at some stage. I Next will. time we're in London and we don't have time to make a video. <laughs> we'll just do a Snapchat compilation. Yeah. 
Um, because I always feel bad whenever we don't make videos, but it's exhausting. Like we get back and we're like, all right, okay, yeah, we need to do a video tomorrow, and then it's like Wednesday, and you're like, oh, flip, yeah, right, we need to do that. But then we're that busy, like you have to catch up on stuff whenever you've been away, and then next thing you know, it's like nine o'clock on Wednesday night, and you're in a heap in the living room. Yeah, can't move. Blittered. Blitt on tiredness. Blittered means drunk. Blittered can mean like just full. Which also means drunk from the line Because babies can be blittered. Can they? Yeah. Okay. Well, unless the people I heard about talking about their baby being blittered, like, fed it a lot of beer. Like. <laughs> um, do we have a Northern Irish phrase of the week? I suppose blittered could be it. Yeah, blittered or full. Either one means drunk or just full. I think you can use really. It's like Michael McIntyre said, you can use really any word for yeah. drunk. Just... Totally I, was, I was totally tractor last night there, so I was. <laughs> totally gazeboed, I think it's my favourite. Yeah. Totally gazeboed. Gaz I can't even do it. Totally gazeboed. I was totally bookmarked. I was totally whiteboard. Totally pebble dashed. <laughs> pebble dash means something different though. Pebble dash is whenever you fall and you get like the marks of the road. Is that not what pebble dashing is? No. No. Okay, sorry. I don't think so, no. I know what pebble dash is on a house, yeah. but... I thought whenever you fell off your bike and you sort of, like, you don't cut I think your it's skin, just, but I it's don't like think, I don't marks. think it's called that. I think just people say, oh, it's like Pebble Dash, and then they just, over time, they just left out the like. Maybe. Anyway, I it's, it's a thing now, so. You essentially just said that I was right. You just said over time they stopped saying like, so it's basically. I know, but it's like gravel burn and stuff as well, is what it's called as well. Is what it's called as well. I said that quite a few times there. Um, I have pit books written here oh yeah because you've started stealing my books and putting them in the toilet well actually no because there are books some of no, them are books no i bought the i bought those roald dahl ones on ebay myself they were mine okay well i like to take a book into the toilet because i don't like going on my phone in the toilet so i read while i poop <laughs> you're welcome for giving you material i mean i could have come down to my room but that was like a whole extra six steps that i just didn't need in my life well, like, no, you, you asked me for something when you were there, so I got you one of my books. I mean, same principle still stands, I didn't need those six steps in my life. <laughs> it's more than six steps to get to your room from the toilet. Fine, 26. Okay, 26. That's more believable for me. Um, I've lost my list of things. Oh dear. Um, yeah, we've been to the gym this week. Chloe's just turned in faced away from me. Did you just burp? I did, yeah. Oh, okay. I want. I thought it was my breath that was making you turn away. I was really bad. I felt bad. Uh, we've been training at the gym this week and it's been exhausting because we were still tired from Monday. And uh, I just wanted to ask you, Chloe, what podcasts do you feel got you through this week? Dear Hank and John is definitely one of them. Um, Scott Mills, Greg James. <laughs> they were real strong ones. And I actually found some new podcasts. Um, this is what I was getting to. That I can't, I can't remember their names. One's called The Tip Off, which is very good. Um, one's called, oh, what's it called? The Under, no, it's not the Under thing. Well, you can one's called Sandra. Up. Yeah, which is very good. It's an old one, but it's very good. I highly recommend it. It's about uh, artificial intelligence thing like Siri, but it's called Sandra and people work in an office as Sandra and it's real good. Um, uh, I do have other ones, but I can't. The Enforcer. That one is good. But yeah, what podcast got you through the week? Um, the Enforcer, Dear Hank and John, and Radio 2 Confessions, which is not a thing anymore. But Simon Mayo is now on a new radio station, so Confessions podcast is coming back at some point. I hope. You're getting very excited about Confessions. I really love that podcast. What? I really love that podcast. You can't whisper on a podcast. You can. I did it before. You can hear it. Yeah, no, but you're over here whenever you whispered. These people have great hearing. Talking about hearing. Earphones with only one ear working. So frustrating. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. I would. Why? Because it's not life-threatening. I suppose. But it's really yeah. annoying. That's true. That's that's very true. Um, I have some questions here. Yes? What's an unwritten rule that everybody should know? Um, I have quite a few of these, actually. Can we... Do it. Can I do more than one? Yeah. Um, no smelly food on trains or buses or anywhere yeah. with cramped conditions. 
Um, but that's just sort of goes for any food, because if you open any food in like a cramped area, well, I suppose it depends if it's smelly or not, but everybody has a different opinion on that. No, 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 but like some foods don't like smell waft. that much. <laughs> waft. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like if you open a tuna sandwich, that's going to fill the whole area. Yeah. But if you open like a bar of chocolate, like maybe the person beside you will smell it, but that's about it. Unless it's a really warm train, in which case you just smell chocolate. Yeah. But no warm train, why would you eat chocolate anyway? It'll be melted. Ugh. Because Messy. you don't because you don't want it to melt. Okay. I would not eat chocolate on a warm day. Um another one would be oh, I had one there and now I've forgotten it because we started. Is this talking the Deer Hank and John armrest one? No. Okay. But you can explain that one. Uh, that one if you're in it. a middle seat on a plane, you should get both armrests because the other person has an aisle seat and the other person has a window seat so they have like bonus things whereas you don't have anything so you deserve those armrests. I still don't understand how this works on two seaters. Oh wait no we, we discussed this didn't we? Yeah. On two Nobody seaters. uses the middle one. No one, one uses the middle one it's just a divider. Um, I think another one is if you have earphones in don't talk to the person. Yeah. Or like if that person has earphones in don't talk to them unless they make a move to take the earphones out. Like, I mean, you can say a little, hi, how are you? But not actually. It's because my back is sore, okay? And I'm supporting it. I'm stopping it going backwards or forward. She's making fun of me because I have my hand on my hip. You just look like you're saying something real important and you're talking about... Trace, my back is sore. <laughs> I can't remember what you were talking about. <laughs> Your phones, Chloe. Yes, about earphones. earphones. What do you think of people who come up to you and like tap you and try to pull the earphone out of your ear? Don't touch. Me. I would slap them. Don't touch me. <laughs> like don't, don't put your hands near my ears. Like unless it's a life or death situation, or you're gonna pee yourself or something that's gonna make a mess. I wouldn't, but I wouldn't like go to take someone's earphone out. No, I, I would tap, like, you them. tap them. Yeah, yeah, but I wouldn't reach for their ear. Mostly because I don't think I have the. Um, What's making the wall squeak? Is that your jumper making the wall squeak? Probably. Yeah. Okay. I can't remember what I was saying now. Talking about tapping and pulling earphones out. Oh, I don't remember. I I wouldn't pull the earphone out. I would just tap. Okay, next one is. Oh, I don't think I would have the like coordination to get the earphone. <laughs> that's why I wouldn't do it. No, but that's why you sort of go draw halfway down to sort of like. That's even worse. Collarbone hurt your ear, and you just yank it out. No, of that it. is the worst thing ever. Uh, if you were a scented candle, what scent would you be? Um, a mixture of cinnamon, lime, and lemon, and oh, fresh cotton. That's an intense flavor scent. <laughs> I would be called. Are you just going to try and combine all the names? Liminanan. It's a pretty solid name. Liminanan. No, Liminanan. Numin. Liminanan. Numin. Pretty sure I just said two different names there, but it's now Liminanan. Numin. I'm going to have to spell that, and that can be the title of this week's podcast. Okay, I'm going to try and work out why. What? What would you be? I don't know. Um. See, I tried not to think of these, so then I could sort of muddle through it. Um, if it was like like cereal, but like not pure overpowering, if that makes sense, I would go for like a subtle smell that you could burn all the time. <gasps> that would be like you'd be burning me. Maybe I should go for an intense one that nobody wants to burn, because it'd be me. Yeah, but I suppose it would be called me rather than snimmanum It would be called Judith. I think maybe that's what the question's sort of saying. Uh huh. <laughs> Did you just try and spell it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, swimming. We did swimming again this week, and I wanted to cry the whole way through it, but I didn't cry. And once again, success. And you, you accidentally nearly joined me. <laughs> you always make such a big deal of this. I, I, it was an accident. You do it to me a lot, and I don't make like you did last I time. I mention it on the Thursday. That's no, it. you've mentioned it on podcasts. Okay, but no, but it was just the timing because you went to push off and I went to take a breath and then just water straightened my throat. But I didn't do it on purpose. Um, I didn't say so you did it. Was on your purpose. fault for not timing your breath properly? <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, what animal would be cute as a cat-sized animal that isn't already like cat-sized? An elephant. Why? Elephants are cool, but they're too big to keep as a pet. I don't think I'd want an elephant as a pet. Like, what? it would just... Like, 
not only do you have to worry about if it was it a dra- peeing everywhere, you'd have to worry about it like if you're sucking up water and spraying it everywhere too. <laughs> Pee on real. But sure, that's oh, what you have to- Nelly just sprayed everywhere again. Pee or nose. <laughs> What about a giraffe? Would the giraffe be the size of a cat plus the neck? I don't know, that's up to or you. Or would the, I think it would be the size of a cat including the neck, so it would be a really, really tiny giraffe. Be like a wee chihuahua. <laughs> so cute. I want a cat-sized giraffe, please. I want a cat-sized tiger. That's just a cat. No, but tigers have massive paws in comparison to their body. I suppose. It's like having, like, I don't know, like man-sized hands on a child. <laughs> A penguin. No, a polar bear. I want a polar bear sized cat. Or a panda. No. A, no, a cat sized polar bear, not a polar bear sized cat. That would be terrifying. Hard to imagine. Because cats are so, like, blase as well. They just swipe you out of the way. <laughs> like, Bye. Instead of tipping water off the table, they would tip you off the earth. The earth. Um, Dairy Girls was back this week. And it was very good. I very much enjoyed it. Um, we watched it really late at night though, because we got back um, on the Tuesday and it was like we'd missed it because we were on the plane and then we were like, we'll just watch it. And we watched it and it was very good. I don't want to spoil it because I think you should watch it, but solid, solid episode. Um, and I'm also really excited for this Tuesdays. Um, we're in the final episode. So keep an eye out for the final episode in the crowd scenes whenever everybody's waving their flags and shouting Bill. So you, um, Chloe's just giving me the sign to keep talking. So this is I've lost all my stuff. I'm trying okay. to get it back up. Um, yeah. Um, I just saying you've done this to me. <laughs> so you can't complain. I I never I wasn't complaining. Okay. No, it's just you're awkwardly. I know because I have lost my stuff too. I don't know where it is. I have to find it again and I don't want to just leave dead air. So I'm trying to think of something else to talk about. Um, we're going to see Captain Marvel on Monday, tomorrow. I was almost going to say Tuesday, but we're going to see that tomorrow. And I have no idea what to expect. I have no idea what it's about. Captain Marvel? Is it Captain Marvel? Yeah. No, I'm just saying that's what it's about. It's about All right, Captain okay. Marvel. It was just the way you laughed at me and went, Captain Marvel, like that. I was like... I just oh, smiled so... at you. I didn't laugh. Oh, I thought you were like sort of taking <coughs> the mic out of the way I said it. Did you get your stuff back? No, but... Um, oh, okay. I remember some of it. Uh, if what What is the first memory that you remember? Have we not done this before? I'm 90% sure we've talked about this before. I don't know, but it's about time we brought it back. Do you remember anything different from your first memory from last time? Um... No. Um, well, what is your first memory then? Being in a buggy and just looking at the sky, walking along the road. That's like it's a really short, basic memory. Is this one whenever our cousin took us around the block? Yeah, like to the country park and yeah. stuff, and then back up around here. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that day too. I also remember my third birthday, and playgroup was after my third birthday, and that was after our third birthday. Was it? Yeah. Oh, well, I remember playgroup then. I'm no, 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 sure playgroup was after our third birthday, and so was that. All right, okay. Well, then I don't remember anything before our third birthday. I remember our third birthday, vaguely. I remember everyone laughing at you, holding the knife at home when I was three. I felt real bad. I felt real awkward. Why? Because you didn't get a knife at <laughs> Well, <laughs> that and everyone was laughing. I was like, why? This isn't even funny. It's cake. Guys. <laughs> but I think I just kind of felt intimidated by the number was there there was a lot of people wasn't there no there was mum dad uncle forrest auntie maggie maybe colin sinclair in my head there was a massive crowd of people in the kitchen and i was like what is going on why are you all here why what's your first memory i suppose you just said i said third birthday um what's another one what? uh what inanimate object would be really annoying if upbeat music played every time you used it I thought about this one, but I'll let you think. Your quilt. Your bed. <laughs> Anything on your bed. Yeah, true. True. But you could just get earplugs and just... Try that out. Or you, or you'll get used to it. I suppose. I was thinking toilet roll. Why? Because anytime you use toilet roll, if it was like to wipe or anything, it would just be like... Doo-doo-doo. 
Do 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 do. Boop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop. But would it play for a certain length of time, or would it stop when you put it down? Well, whenever you're not using it. Yeah, so you would pick it up and it would play, and then you put it down and it would stop. Yeah, or you'd like unroll it and then like. But then if it's on a toilet roll holder, would it? But yeah, as soon as you start touching it, basically. So if you're holding a bit in your hand, it would play until you dropped it in the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would make me feel really weird about using toilet roll. <laughs> Everyone would know. To... <laughs> <laughs> having a good white player <laughs> no, but then the way I sort of thought about it is the more you used the louder, the louder it would be <laughs> someone's using like six squares in that cubicle no, I wasn't using even one thinking, in that one I wasn't even, I wasn't even thinking of public toilets oh that's so much worse <laughs> yeah oh uh, yeah no let's not make musical toilet roll thank you for coming to my TED talk <laughs> What else? Spoons, cutlery and stuff. That would be really annoying. Cause it would just be like listening to music in a restaurant, though. Like, really? But if it was really annoying music? Well, no, just upbeat. Upbeat music can be really annoying, though. Yeah, it can, but, I mean... Maybe it would cheer you up. It'd be know. really annoying in, like, a restaurant, too, upbeat music after a while. You're just like, oh my word, shut up and let me talk, please. No, no, but normally music in a restaurant is, like, ambient. It's meant to be quiet. It's not in Bob and Burt's. It's not awful and well, I suppose. I think whenever like restaurants and stuff are really busy, they should turn down the music. Yeah. Because then people, people aren't talking to... over it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do the Google game? I did. I was going to say, do you want to talk anything else? Because I've just asked like six questions. <laughs> um, I don't really have anything else. Fab. Um, so the Google game, Google question this week is... What does it mean when my cat meows? No, but close. My dog howls. Yep. That is one, three, four, five. Yeah, that's like six or seven down, but um, I grouped a whole pile together because they were more or less. Well, they weren't the Did, same, but. What does it mean when your dog howls? I don't know. Like, oh, okay. Just. What does it mean when my pee smells bad? <laughs> that was one of them, actually. <laughs> What does it mean when my pee is no, brown? There's no other pee ones. Ah, uh, what does it mean when I keep sneezing? No, or coughing. Well, it means I'm probably go see a doctor, like, or you're allergic to something. What does it mean if I can't feel my tongue? No. Is there any like medical ones? There's one. Yeah, yeah. There's three. There's three sort of very vague ones. <laughs> what does it mean if my foot hurts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean if my arm hurts? No. My back hurts? My no. head hurts? My chest hurts? Yep. My... There's another medical one I'm going to leave it for a bit. Try and, try and go for something else. Um, think about dreams. What does it mean if I die in my dream? Yeah, well, yeah, someone dying, yeah. What does it... Well, hold on, what's the thing again? What does it mean? What does it mean when? What does it mean when... My breath smells bad? No. When my eyes are sore? No. When my nose is itchy? No. Because is it not if your nose itches, it means you're going to get in a fight? Yeah. So that's not a thing. Think back to dreams, because I said there was like three or four about that. What does it mean when... I... Well, it's when you... When you... Can control your dreams. No. When you... Can... No. Okay. <laughs> when you... Are naked. No. When your teeth fall out. No. When you fall off a building. Oh yeah, when you dream about falling, yeah. Yay. Oh more. yeah, there's more. I thought you were going to explain what does it mean. <laughs> I thought you were going to explain. Uh, is there any other dream ones? Or... Yeah, there's two more. Oh, man. I said there was like three or four. <laughs> what does it mean when you dream about family? No. Death? No. Well, you've already said about death. Oh, yeah. Pets? No. Food? No. Crying? Sadness? S think, about, think about related to crying. What cries? <laughs> crying baby? Yeah, but remove the crying now. A baby? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, right, now I want you to think about pets. Wouldn't you dream about dogs? No, it's not. It doesn't have legs. 
When you drew... Wait, fish? No. I don't stop next. Sorry, that was really random. Birds. Fish don't swim. <laughs> birds. <laughs> birds. Birds do have legs. Yeah. Snakes. Yeah. What What does it mean when you dream about snakes? Yeah. So, um... There's one more. No, there's two more. <laughs> Is it rude? There's one that you're never going to get. What does it mean when you see a robin? It means that one of your dead loved ones has come back. Is that what it means? Yeah, it's like their spirit is in a robin. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I think. Was, the other one was. I was sort of like, why would you need to know this? Like, it's too late if you if you want to know this. But what happens when you die? <laughs> what 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 does it mean when you die? <laughs> it's just kind of like, well, I mean, that's the end. <laughs> I mean, that's it. It's the big question. Can you? Did you? Do you know what the answer is to that one? Can you? Can you? What, what happens one? when you die? Yeah. Okay. Can you see what like Yahoo Answers or whatever brings up? Yahoo yeah. Answers. Who are you? <laughs> we already advertised the Google search. Things, so. It was called Google Feud. Was it? Yeah. Is that what you use? I just use Google. I just like start typing. I use Google Feud to get like the start of a question. Mm -hmm. That's. Excuse me, I'm yawning. I'm real sorry. Um. But yeah. The dream thing is weird. There's like different interpretations of different dreams. I used to be really quite interested in that kind of thing, but now I'm just sort of like, eh, dreamt some stuff was not fun. I guarantee it's going to come up just like, did you mean, what does it mean when you die in a dream? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. That's disappointing. But it definitely just said what happens when you, what does it mean, what does when, it mean you when you die? It didn't say in a dream. Yeah. Well, maybe that was just sort of like people accidentally hit. Search too soon. Maybe. My fringe is sitting really weird today. I'm just looking at it in Chloe's phone screen here. I died in my dream and it felt real. <laughs> what happens if you die in your dream and don't wake up? Well, then it's like the Matrix. You're, you're dead. Um, I don't have any... I thought maybe I would have tweets and stuff from people um, interacting, but no one... No one cares. That's okay. Just, we'll just keep doing this. You have we. There you go. Oh, oh no, that's what I said. It's sitting here. Um, but yeah, it's. <laughs> it's distracting, <laughs> you, isn't it? It's <laughs> because you tried to brush it up and it just made it stick up a wee bit yeah. more. Um, and then I could see it. I was trying not to look at it, but I could see it in the shadow. And I was like, what's that? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Um. The other thing I have here is House MD, but it was just because um, it's a decent show. We were watching, watching it at the time. Um, what was I going to say? We're going to maybe do a couple of extra podcasts this month um, because R and I B are doing a project thing that maybe Judith can look up the name for. Oh, um, yes. About, I don't think it ha does it have a name? I'm pretty sure it does. It has a shorter name than they're going to talk about employability and discrimination in the workplace. Is because it's going to be my being emails. Yes. Impaired. Maybe, or you could just Google it. Um, but it's about being visually impaired and trying to get a job, which uh, we haven't done yet. Um, we're working on it. Hopefully something will come out of it. Um, but we are going to be doing blog posts. Um, and we haven't actually set up a blog yet, so we'll do that. We'll probably name it Skit Twins, to be honest. Yeah, that's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, and yeah, we decided we would do it as a podcast too, just to make it a bit more accessible for people who cannot be bothered to read because TLDR is a thing. What's that mean? Too long, didn't read. Oh. Um, which is really annoying. I don't like people who do that. Like why, especially whenever you ask a question and then someone answers it like really thoroughly and then you just reply underneath it, just TLDR. It's sort of like, no. You ask this question. You wanted to know the information. I don't don't ask me to summarise it. I've seen people use that on Reddit. Yeah. But it, they, they use it themselves. They make they do the big pa paragraph and then they do themselves at the very bottom, TLDR, and then it's just yeah. like a one set in summary. Why would you do that? You just spent the time typing that out. Make people read your words. Yeah. that's like, I don't think I'd ever make a wee, like, shortened one. Unless I do, like, a big whole Facebook rant and then have to try and fit it into a tweet. <laughs> 
Um, in which case it would be like, I can't believe Sandra did this the other day because she said this, that and the other and then she went out and then she told her friend Margaret and Margaret was like, oh my word, can't trust anybody with this. And then Margaret went and told Deirdre and Deirdre was like, oh my word, going to have to tell Marjorie and Dorothy and TLDR, Ruth. TLDR, don't trust anyone yeah. with memes. Yeah, and then that would be the tweet, just <laughs> don't trust anyone. With and then like the wee and the wee side eye. <laughs> What's the side eye one? The one where it's like it's sort of like a smirk, but it's like hey. oh yeah. <laughs> That's the noise that emoji makes. Do you have do you have sounds with emojis? Yeah, I also have sounds with text. Or well, some text. Like bold text. I would sort of say in a deeper voice. Yeah. Like it's like, hello, and then italics would be like, hello, and then bold text. Italics like, to me is quite it's either sarcastic or really sort of like, well, hello. Yeah, like flirty. Yeah. Um, and then bold. All caps is obviously just yelling. Yeah, and then bold is just like, hello. <laughs> hello. Well, if it's just one word in a sentence, then it's just sort of emphasised. Yeah. Just did the head move there too. But like emphasised angrily. Yeah. Whereas if it's italics, it's sort of like, oh, yeah. kind of thing. And then if it's underlined, then it's like, oh my word, this is important. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Skit twins, you're explaining bold italics and under... <coughs> Bless you! Underlining. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't do that right. Bless you! Nailed it. Thanks. You're welcome. Have we explained that you bless people in the same style that they sneeze? No, but I'd assume people got it from that. <laughs> well, I just explained anyway. I was going to say something else and I've forgotten what it is. I don't know. What, what are we talking about? Emojis. Um, yeah. Too long, didn't read. Took me, it always takes me a while to get these like new slang terms. What was it? There was another one. Um, SMH. Shaking my head. And it's like, why would you even put that in there? I always just thought that was a smeh. Yeah. Like just a noise. Like instead of going meh, you no, go smeh. Sh shake my head. And it's sort of like, why? Like you don't need to put actions into a sentence. Just be like, what the flip lads? Like I am always another one. What does that mean? In my opinion. Oh. Uh. Or I am a true. In my honest opinion. Or in my humble opinion. There's a big debate about like which mm. one that means. I feel really old whenever people use all these we I just don't get it, it's just lazy. Like I could just be like I think a ha H -ha -ha. H A Y I G T. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. I think a good ha 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 is better than a lol. Yeah. Sort of shows it doesn't even show more effort because you're still just using two letters, but I don't know. I think I think a ha 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 is better than lol, and a ha 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 is better than ruffle or LMFA. no. I think a ha ha ha. That's my favourite one. The if one I ever use that with you, it means I actually laughed. The one that starts in like lowercase and then goes up to uppercase. Oh, that's my favourite. Then if it goes back down to lowercase, that sort of shows that you're calming down again. <laughs> it was only a brief moment of. What about, do you agree with ha ha ha's that end in an H or does it have to end in an A? It has to end in an A, but it doesn't necessarily have to start with an H. It can be oh, like, so it can be ah, ah ha ha ha. Yeah. I've seen people who start with ba ha 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 ha, but I know the people in real life and I know that that is how probably they how they would start laughing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, oh, I was going to say about uh, the Northern Irish sense of humour and how it's hard for people to understand, but I think... I was going to talk about, right, okay. Don't call me blasphemous, right? But they were talking about in like a Bible thing. They were talking about how Yahweh wasn't supposed to be spelt with vowels because vowels don't make it as holy, right? But all I can no, think of is it like, was because it was it like it was such a holy name that you weren't meant to be able to pronounce. say it out loud. All right, yeah. And um, if there was vowels, there was no vowels, so you literally couldn't. But all I was thinking of is you know the way you spell more ha 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 and the M W H. <laughs> I don't know, I just couldn't stop thinking about that whenever they were talking about it and I was like, this is probably blasphemous but all I'm thinking is the evil laugh written down and yeah, that's all I wanted to say on that thanks for coming to my TED talk, good luck, bye bye I don't get that either, thank you for coming to my TED talk is that just sort of a, I've made a point, that is my point, thank yeah. you okay, cool, I'm learning the lingo <laughs> we haven't checked the time on this podcast at all and I'm really paranoid that it's not recording it's okay, we're still going, fuck it Whew. Um, is that pretty much us? I think so, yeah. I like to think that this podcast proves enough about the Northern Irish sense of humour. But we don't really go into sectarian jokes and stuff all that much. But that is... I mean, we do in real life sometimes. Yeah, but I do think sectarian jokes is sort of a... I don't want to say a staple part of Northern Irish humour, but it is a big part. 
But yeah. like only between friends. Like you can't just go out in the street and start taking the mic out of the other ones. Yeah, you have to. There has to be like a mutual, a mutual respect, respect res- mutual sta- standing between the people. Yeah, telling the jokes or like, slagging each other. Yeah, like if you go to a comedy club with say Tim McGarry. Like, if you do not realise that you're going to get some sectarian jokes, yeah. you do not know Tim McGarry well enough. <laughs> but it's kind of like that. Like, yeah, you just, if you can't, if you can't take it. If you it, can't take it, then don't give it. Yeah. Give it out. And I can take it. I can take people. The one thing I can't take is people saying that, like, being convinced that Northern Ireland is Ireland and being like, oh yeah, that's Irish money. Oh, that fries my head. No, I can't, couldn't be, couldn't be dealing with that, no. You can't call Northern Irish money Irish money because then what's euros? Yeah. Like, leprechaun money. It's just, no. Like, it was, it was a video we watched last night and someone was like, oh yeah, I know what that is, that's Ulster Bank money. That's, that's Irish money, isn't it? So like, and I was like, you were doing so well, mate. <laughs> you were doing so well. <laughs> you knew what it was. There was someone else who was like, I genuinely thought Northern Ireland used euros. And I was like, I wanted to punch that young lad in the face. I'd like to do that. Can we do that next time we're in London? Just, do you know what this is? And then they'll be like, oh, that's um, pretend money. It's... I think you have to do it in an English accent, though, just in case they try and flee and go like, oh, yeah, I'll just take that. And then it's like, just so you can just be like, excuse me, mate, that's my money. And then they'll be like, <gasps> I love using my broad Northern Irish accent so, yeah. in, in London. It's my favourite thing. I'd be talking like this and then the next thing be like, hey, what's your problem? You all right? Yeah, you almost, you talk really posh and then I don't think people necessarily realise that we alter our accent so they can understand us. Yeah. And then you just go straight up Northern Ireland and then you're just they're just like, What? I've had to alter my accent so much with this acting thing. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've ever sounded as posh. I know. <laughs> I've been weird. <laughs> I don't think I've ever opened my mouth this much. <laughs> Which is why I think I need I drink so much water whenever I'm over there, because I'm opening my mouth more so there's more air and it just gets really dry. But yeah, like I I don't know, I think for the actual like event thing I'm just, should, do I go broad? Do I go completely broad from the start and then sort of do my monologue in a very posh Northern Irish no, voice? I think or the bits whenever you get a wee bit, I hope that we get to record these actually and like put them up because then people will know what we're talking about and what we've been working towards. But anyway, there's a part in Chloe's monologue. If not, like I'm happy enough to just do it in a hotel room or whatever or like just yeah. record it ourselves. But there is a part in yours where you get, not angry, but like you speak louder. Is this that I just want you to, see or I just want you to think I can't I don't know the lines but I know that there's a part when you get louder and like more frustrated I think whenever you get more frustrated you should get broader there's a bit where I have to mock them like mock who I'm talking to I'm tempted to go mock like English. <laughs> oh, you're right now. English. <laughs> look at me I'm unforgivable <laughs> you should you should I think that would be a really good contrast but like oh, don't make contrast. it really don't make it like like um Look at me, I'm unforgivable. Just look at me, I'm unforgivable. And then, just, yeah, like don't make your voice. Is that the bit that you're talking about? And just well, here's the unforeseeable. <laughs> Maybe I think so. Yeah, but I think just there's bits and you speak louder. I think there's more than one bit. It's like and Peter Capaldi because I'm I'm doing I'm doing a speech from Doctor Who. I don't know if we've mentioned that, but I'm doing a speech from Doctor Who. Um, it's actually Peter Capaldi's Doctor. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's sort of that kind of way. Like he goes very Scottish when he's angry. Yeah. Yes. That's actually a quote from the thing, isn't it? He goes Scottish when he's yeah. angry. Um, but yeah, I go very Northern Irish when I'm angry, apparently. Imagine you being the doctor. You know the way Peter Capaldi was like, oh, I'm Scottish, I get to be angry. You could be like, oh, I'm Northern Irish, Irish, I get, I get to, to be sectarian. sectarian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they'd allow that, but that would be so funny. <laughs> I'd love the doctor to be like not only Northern Irish but like visually impaired. That would be hilarious. Just, where did I put my keys? It's <laughs> like, where are we, doctor? I don't know, but there's a sign over there. Can you read it? <laughs> oh right, it says Scarrow. We're in Scarrow. We're in. We're on. We have to leave. <laughs> we're in Scarrow. It says we're in Scarrow. We're in Scarrow. We're at Scarrow. Lads. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Just hold up. Shut the fridge, lads. How long? I think it would be really good, even as a short for comic relief. And it's like just a brief blip in regeneration. Just sort of like, whoops, what's happened? Oh no, I'm Northern Irish and I can't see. Hey, Andy Pryor. Wait, he's the guy, right? He's just a casting director. 
but he's casting direct. He works at Doctor Who. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, Andy Pryor. We'd be great. You need to talk about the script. You need to talk about the to the producers and stuff. They'd hire us. Cast us. Then we'll show you what you can do, and then we'll like just take over set and be like, guys, just film this. Be funny. Oh, I'd love to do that. Just like, guys, watch this. Rolling. <laughs> That's my favourite memory from Dairy Girls. <laughs> so we were working on set and then um, before you actually shout action, it's always like, you know, camera roll, like uh, they all shout, rolling, to say that the camera's rolling, but because they're in different areas across an open space, they have to shout it, but they have to shout it in like... Order. I was going to say in a way that carries. All right, yeah. That's not obviously just someone like heckling. So they all go, rolling, stand by and shoot. Yeah, it was also... And the good ones. Um, yeah. I believe we talked about that too. I listened to a lot of our podcasts yeah. this week and last week. Um, it's okay. People repeat things. No, no, no. I know, I know. I was just... To me, it seems like we talked about it like last time. I'm pretty sure we talked about it in November whenever we did it. <laughs> yeah, I know that's what I'm saying, but to me it feels really recent. Yeah. Um, no one else probably remembers, so it's okay. <laughs> Unless they're binge listening. I'm trying to think good. what other roles would be absolutely hilarious to have a visually impaired actor or a Northern Irish person. A doctor in Casualty or Hobby City. As Just like, like for either. Let, let me... I can't... Hold on, I'll let do your stitches here, love. <laughs> Sorry, my, is my hair tickling your arm? Sorry. Uh, I just I can't see what I'm doing here. <laughs> let me just do open heart surgery here. <laughs> Dr. Chloe, you shouldn't be breathing on, on the internal <laughs> organs. I'm so, Do you want me to hold my breath while I do this? Because I can only do it for like 30 seconds and then I'll pass out. And then you'll be one doctor down. Do you want to try that? Well, no, but I'm just saying you can What other way am I supposed to do it? Trust me, I'm a heart surgeon. <laughs> no, but I'm not an Irish person. I think if it was me... <laughs> I'd want to have this like a full-scale like, argument. Just like, he's in VF. Right, see what you've done now. <laughs> Now look what you've done. Oh, typical. <laughs> if you hadn't told me to breathe on him, he'd still be alive right now. <laughs> you can still bring him back. I know I can bring him back, but I want you to apologise first. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be like the one episode you're in and you're fired. <laughs> it's my third hospital in two weeks. Oh, cheaper. <laughs> I am a good surgeon, just no one lets me try. <laughs> that would be fun. I've done three open heart surgeries this week. <laughs> One of them was successful. <laughs> that's awful. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's bad. Um, what about Builder? Builder wouldn't really be much crack. Mm. Taxi driver? <laughs> that would be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you'd be a taxi driver, but you could just be sitting in a passenger seat. And just be like, okay, that'll be uh, sixty-four pound. But the app's just the app said it would only be like thirty-two. Yeah, no, but I had to book myself the Uber before I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so technically, and we're I have to get bill. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> You've taken me twenty mile across from my house. Like, have a nice day there. <laughs> I thought you meant that you'd be sitting in the passenger seat and you'd be like, that's £16.74. But I drove here. I know, but it's my car. <laughs> that one can work too. I like my idea with the Uber driver. <laughs> Imagine that. Someone's just being like, yeah, I'm a taxi driver. And then them actually getting an Uber to go and... Oh, I'm going to have to try that. Can I have to try that at some point? <laughs> Obviously I'm not, because that would be like the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> Plus, no one would pay that extortion. Well, actually, no tourists and stuff might pay that extortionate amount yeah. for. No, still, still, no one has tweeted us. So that's that's okay. We've managed to entertain ourselves enough, um, and hopefully, we've managed to entertain you fine people. Yep. So, uh, if you want to get in touch, uh, skit dot twins at gmail dot com, at skit under slash twins on Instagram and Twitter, or skit underscore twins. Just depends on your persuasion. Um, you can twins on YouTube and Facebook podcast app and SoundCloud. And we're, we're also on an app called, um, oh, what's it called? I got an email about it the other day. Podcoin. It pays you to listen to podcasts. It, it doesn't. It's pretty crap, to be honest. But it's on there too, so we, it's probably on a whole pile of different places. But just we know of SoundCloud and the podcast app. Yep. Um... I'd like to do a little shout out to Susan and Sarah because I know they listen 
and we're sorry that we didn't take our Christmas lights down. Um, they are down. They are down now. They are down now. We took them down. Um, sort of at your request and also mum and dad were cutting the bushes and... <laughs> yeah. It's hard trying to avoid little leads and stuff. Yeah. Where are they now? I kind of hope that we could put them up inside. I don't know, because they're solar powered, so how could you put them up inside? Can they not just be charged on normal light now? Does it have to be from the sun? I suppose they can, but just not as well. Glow in the dark stuff you can just hold up to any light source. Yeah, but it's glow in the dark, it's not solar. But is it not the same kind of principle? I don't think. No, because solar generates electricity. I. <laughs> <laughs> but like, could you. Okay, no, okay. I think, like, you can to an extent, but, they go but I don't off. think it's, like, as good. Because I was going to say, they went off whenever cars drove past with their lights on. I think it just has to be, like, an intense light. Okay. Okay, I'm disappointed. But okay. It's color blue for Judith Science. It's fine. And on that note... <laughs> <laughs> Remember... My name is Judith and I am a certain candle smell that is Lemonanananum. <laughs> can't even say it. Lemonanananum. Lemonanananum. And my name's Chloe and I'm a slightly scented cereal candle. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I totally zoomed out whenever you were talking about what kind of candle you I couldn't so decide which I couldn't decide which one, which fla- which scent I should be. Should I be like overpoweringly strong so that people don't want to burn me, or should I be like a nice smell that people will enjoy burning me? Oh she got burned Yes. I wanna be cremated and I want people to shout that <laughs> <laughs> She needs some milk <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah, uh, tune in next time. Um, if you'd like more bonus podcasts, let us know on the ways you various mentioned Various social media. Um, uh, they're also going to be in the description, it's like how to get in touch. So don't worry, you don't have to like reverse. But anyway, good luck. Bye bye. Take, Take care, care. Be, be good. good. If you can be anything, be kind. Make so good, make good choices. Make good choices. I love Whee! you. Love you. Bye. I don't really love you. I mean, you're okay, but I don't like like.